Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasi. Today here we were discussing about ECG in which we have discussed the P wave and its abnormalities in previous lecture. Today we will continue the same topic of ECG and we will discuss another part of the ECG which is Q wave. But before going to start about the Q wave, go and click on that bell icon so that you will get my notification later for my next videos. So go and subscribe my channel. Now coming towards today's topic that is Q wave. Q wave is the part of a ECG complex that is PQRS complex and it is the negative part of ECG complex which is produced due to depolarization of part of heart which we call septum. This is the septum of heart and it is produced this Q wave is produced due to depolarization of septum. And this direction of depolarization of septum is from left to right that is from left part of the heart towards the right this is how the impulse or electrical activity will travel in septum so as it is away from the electrode i've already told you that whenever the electrical signal is away from the electrode the activity that is recorded on a ecg paper will be negative that's why this qrs complex is negative whenever seen on a ECG paper. So this will be negative. This is the uh, structure of normal heart and whenever you will place the leads this will be like this V1 will be placed here like this 2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. Usually this Q wave will be absent in most of the leads but small Q wave can also be seen in lead 1, AVL, 2, V5 and V6. This will be seen but in a negative direction on a ECG paper. Whenever you will see an ECG on a ECG paper. You will see that there is no Q wave seen in V1, 2 and V3 as the impulse is traveling towards that leads V1, V2 and V3. Whenever it is moving towards the electrode that means the impulse will be positive and this positive will be neutralized by negative wave so that there will be no wave seen in a V1, 2 and V3. This is how the Q wave is recorded through different electrodes placed on a surface of a body and shown on a ECG paper. Now coming towards the next part of my lecture that is the normal and pathological Q wave. Whenever you will see the Q wave you will focus on three or four things that is depth, width and its percentage. It's not always about percentage it is the proportion which is relative to R wave of the same lead. So these four things should be in mind while going to discuss about pathology of Q wave. So normally whenever you will see the ECG the depth of this Q wave will be less than 2 millimeter and its width will be less than or equal to one small square and its height or amplitude will be 25% of R wave in the same lead. Like this is uh, this is the PQRS complex. This is a R wave. This is Q wave, and this Q wave will always be twenty five percent, which means that it will be of one by fourth of the R wave. This. Q wave will be equivalent to 1 by 4th of that R wave of the same lead. So these are the three points you should keep in mind before going to say that Q wave is pathological. Now coming towards the pathological Q wave. Q wave is called pathological Q wave whenever its depth will be greater than 2 mm which means that Q wave will be greater than two small square boxes of ECG paper. Next width, width should be greater than one small square box or greater than 0.04 second which means 
दैट द क्राइटेरिया इज फॉलोइंग इन पैथोलॉजिकल क्यू वे दीज आर द फोर पॉइंट्स यू शुड कीप इन माइंड बिफोर गोइंग टू से दैट द क्यू वेव इज पैथोलॉजिकल द थर्ड वन हेयर इज इट शुड बी प्रेजेंट इन मोर देन वन लीड इफ द क्यू वेव इज ग्रेटर देन टू मिलीमीटर एंड इट्स वेट इज ग्रेटर देन वन स्मॉल स्केल बॉक्स इन ओनली वन लीड यू कैनट से दैट द क्यू वेव इज पैथोलॉजिकल सो इन आर्डर टू से दैट द क्यू वेव इज पैथोलॉजिकल देर शुड बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस क्राइटेरिया इन मोर देन वन लीड एंड द लास्ट वन हेयर इज अगेन क्यू वेव शुड बी ग्रेटर देन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ फॉलोइंग आर वेव ऑफ द सेम लीड नाउ कमिंग टू वर्ड्स इट्स काज इज द मोस्ट कॉमन काज ऑफ पैथोलॉजिकल क्यू वेव इज नंबर वन हेयर इज माइकोडियल इन्फॉक्शन विच इज मोस्ट कॉमन देन कम्स द वेंटकुलर हाइपर ट्रॉफी कार्डियोमायोपैथी एल बी बी लेफ्ट बंडल ब्रांच ब्लॉक एंड देर कैन ऑल्सो बी पैथोलॉजिकल क्यू वेव इन लीड मिसप्लेसमेंट इन लीड मिसप्लेसमेंट पैथोलॉजिकल क्यू वेव कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन फाइनल वन हेयर इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच इज क्यू वेव इज ओनली लीड थ्री इफ इट इज प्रेजेंट इन ओनली लीड थ्री दिस विल बी एसोसिएटेड विद pulmonary embolism and it can never be neglected so keep in mind all these points and causes uh, and criteria for pathological q wave before going to describe any abnormality related to q wave of the heart so i have discussed the causes of pathological q wave like mi ventricular hypertrophy cardiac myopathy all these i have discussed earlier now i will explain some of these so that you will get the clear image or view regarding pathological q wave so this is the first one which is myocardial infarction in myocardial infarction which is most common cause of pathological q wave you will see that in earlier ecgs of mi you will see number 1 hyper acute tall t waves tall t waves second one here is st elevation in the leads like v1 to v4 but our concern here is the third part which is pathological q wave which is deep q wave seen in myocardial infarction for example if we are taking the part of heart like the lateral part of heart is infarcted this is the lateral part of heart suppose this get infarcted the lead which is corresponding to this part is here v6 this is the v5 v4 this v6 is corresponding to this lateral part in normal uh, ecg you will see that small q wave will be seen in v5 v6 but here the part of a heart is infarcted now this infarcted part is usually we call it dead part of the heart and the electrical signals are directly coming from this septum and is captured by this v6 lead because this window is created normally this is not infarcted and now it is dead and the electrical signals are directly coming from this window of the dead part of a heart so there will be deep q wave seen in v6 that's why you will see deep q wave in am i so this was about the myocardial infarction now you will get another point here that is regarding the hcmp in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy there is a part of heart which is septum which got hypertrophied now the muscle or a part of heart which got hypertrophied is septum as it got hypertrophied more electrical activities will be captured by this hypertrophic muscle so that's why you will see deep dagger shaped deep dagger shaped this is dagger shaped q wave 
in ECG paper regarding this HCMP. So this is the difference between different conditions of heart in which you will see pathological Q wave on a ECG paper and also in pulmonary embolism in which there will be deep Q wave seen in lead 3. So these are the conditions you have to differentiate so that you will get the clear image regarding the pathological Q wave. Uh, there is another point that this Q wave, pathological Q wave is indicating or it is representing the old MI or current MI. Old or current MI can be indicated by this pathological Q wave. In old MI, you will see the pathological deep Q wave and there will be T wave inversions, T wave inversions also on a ECG paper, but it is not mandatory always that you will get the ST elevations in old MI in different chest leads on the ECG paper. So in old MI, you will see the deep Q wave and T wave inversions, but it is not mandatory that you will get always the ST elevations. So this was all about the pathological Q wave. Today we are going to end our lecture on pathological Q wave. Next we will discuss about the R wave. But before going to end my lecture, I will say here that go and click on that bell icon so that you will get my notification for next videos. Hope you like my video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.